at the bar, meet me at the bar. Hello out there, and it's time for Life on Tap, episode 67 on Multimedia Experience, now from the heart of NYC. Uh, welcome to all you uh, new subscribers, for those of you who come aboard, a great big thank you to all you existing people who still follow me out there, uh, and through, out there on the Twitterverse and the Potosphere and whatnot. Um, Want to have a major apology. Hi, Luna. Um, I want to have a major apology out there to everyone. I, I haven't been around for about a month. Um, between the no beer during Passover, which is always a hard thing, um, and then post afterwards with midterms and whatnot, which I'm, I'm done with midterms now, but I'm already gearing up into the final presentation section of a, a semester that sparks a little crazy right now. I also started my internship uh, and doing, um, I'm on a very steep learning curve right now, but I'm loving it, uh, which is good. Got a lot of good stuff going on there, so I just want to you know, put that out there, let you know that I'm okay, I'm just chilling out, got the window open, but the shorts are on, even though I'm wearing, wearing the sweatshirt right now, just to keep a little bit, uh, a little warm here, but I need a little aeration, a little spring air coming in, although my allergies are really freaking going crazy, I don't know about you guys out there, but it's, we gotta do what we can to survive, I guess, you know, um, but for now, onward to the beer, very happy to get back, um, I'm gonna be heading back over to a beer bar this Saturday, hopefully. So I'm, I'm, I can't wait to try something else new I haven't tried in a while. But today, we're going Belgian style. And we're going to be going, heading over to the Bastille's Brewery uh, out of Belgium uh, for this and also the upcoming episode after this, basically. But today, it's their triple, Carmelier. And um, green bottle, like very, very, like almost Heineken colored. It was kind of, it's kind of, very, kind of bizarre. So I'm truly, truly hoping that there's nothing wrong with everything that goes here since it was bought from a, uh, a non-beer or wine-focused establishment. So I'm really hoping that it's it's everything is still, ooh, a-okay. Kind of snuck up on me here. So interesting thing about this beer, it's, it's based off of um, an actual recipe for uh, dating from, I think, late 1600s or something like that, um, if I remember correctly. And the key with this beer is that uh, not only is it like kind of a triple styling, but it, it's also uh, uh, made with three different grains. It's a uh, uh, wheat, oats, and barley. Um, so as as opposed to you know purity laws where it's only malt or you know it's it's only you know only malted barley or something like that. It's it's actually or only wheat or whatever you want to focus on. It's done with three three different grains, and it's um, called Carmelier after the monastery that it was um that the recipe came from it turns out so so let's go ahead and uh have a look see at this look at that awesome awesome head belgian lacing in the mother in the house um good stuff still great deal of carbonation i'm not sure if you you really see that but the bubbles are still effervescing right now like crazy great golden straw color on this thing and um you see, I'm, I'm, I have this kind of in a wine goblet right now, just because I just um, I don't have I, I I no longer have the massive space and or glass collection I once had back in the day with you know my lovely Duvel and other glasses. So if anyone's looking for a good birthday present later this year in October, hint hint, you know I wouldn't mind a little extra specialized beer glassware if you catch my drift. So, <laughs> but let's give this thing a shot. Oh wow, wow. You know, I'm, I'm totally getting the wheat off this and the oats off this. And, you know, it's really bizarre that you, you ever had, like, if you, you ever go out to, like, a good deli, say, you know, you, you, good, a really good deli, and you have a pastrami sandwich, and you always you, you put the mustard on there plenty, you know, but, but, you, but you kind of sm and you always have, like, you know, some coleslaw and then some pickles right there, too, and you... It, you know what? You know that that kind of smell where all that kind of stuff comes together, basically, because it's kind of like you know the 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 bread and the and and then the pickles and everything together. That's kind of like what I'm getting off of this, like that kind of bread. So it's like the wheat, the wheat and the oats all they're all coming together basically with this awesome, awesome grain smell. It's just like it's like I want to be in a freaking bakery right now, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> Wow. Well, so here we go. Definitely feeling 
the, much more of the malt on the taste than say on the nose here. But I am getting this nice balanced quality here. Um, there's lots of like almost a, there's a floral aspect on the front palate, and it kind of goes a little, a little bit hint of citrus citrus on the back end. It's kind of wild. Um, but I'm I'm definitely you know I'm definitely feeling this. It, it's still I think at the same time with it being you know with those kinds of like you know esters coming through. I think it's the word I'm looking for. It still is incredibly smooth uh, and still incredibly well balanced. Um, you know and it's still it's incredibly enjoyable. I mean um, a lot of people like are wondering you know what kind of Belgians you out there. You know you don't want to go head first into kind of goose or lambic territory. You want to think of something that's a little more excuse me accessible out there. And um, you know I, I think that you know Bastilles makes some really excellent stuff and you'll catch uh, another beer like I said like that on the next episode but you know um, like once I, like I said this is I feel that this is you know it didn't win all those like you know awards and stuff like that just for nothing basically this this is a, a good authentic beer recipe um, you know coming coming right from them right from those awesome awesome um, merry monks as they call them Oh, and very, very tasty. So, um, this, by the way, this does weigh in an 8.4% alcohol. So, it's not, I mean, granted, I'm probably having to pace myself just a little bit since it is, you know, corking, corking cage a little bit. I don't want to overdo it too much tonight, um, as I do have stuff to do tomorrow. But in any case, um, so I'm looking forward to trying next, the recording next week's uh, episode as well, also from Boss Deals, and we'll have a very good time with that. And um, hopefully I'll have some other interesting episodes coming up after that. I have to make another run out uh, to buy some buy some more uh, single bottles, hopefully. If I, if I, not, I have to augment over to some six-packs that I haven't tried yet. But there's so much new stuff coming out. I mean, I could, you know, I could spend a week just trying stuff, and I have to sit there and catch up with everyone. But in any case, you want to get reach us out there. It's uh, www.lifeontap.net. Email lifeontap at lifeontap.net. Uh, you reach me out there on the Twitterverse and on the Skypeverse. I am newtype2001. Also, Facebook.com at facebook.com slash newtype2001. And uh, if you're not connected with me on LinkedIn and would like to be, you know, uh, it, you know, just do. It. You can just search for Life on Tap. It, you know, it comes right up. Basically, if not, you know, there's plenty of people that can connect me to you. Uh, love to get uh, love to get connected, especially if you're in the realm of. Um, in the realm of anything, basically, you know, I, you just you want to connect with me. You know, I'm always interested in you know looking for new experiences, new opportunities. You know, definitely put it out there for you. Um, but overall, hope everyone's having a uh, great spring. Uh, hopefully, your allergies are not kicking up like mine are. And go out there and uh, drink some beer this, um, because tis the season uh, for awesome, awesome, um, copious amounts of beer drinking. So remember, life's a tap. Drink up till it's dry.